Hi guys, this is Ashley back with another video. Before we get into the video, like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. So I tried to warn the week and I really did. Um, so Chart Data basically made an announcement talking about how the album charts for this week have been delayed because they're recounting um, the weekend's album sales. That's what everybody is alleging on, you know, social media. Um, and basically, Gunna is supposed to be number one, right? Now, here's the thing, though. This kind of reminds me of the time 6 9 um, basically accused um, Ariana of using payola. Remember? He went on live and said that there were six credit cards and they mass bought and blah, blah, blah. And then after his record with Nicki Minaj, he started to flop. Okay. Now, The weekend did a song um, called, I think I heard you're married or whatnot. And, you know, everybody on social media is, is saying how this record is about Ariana Grande. Since then, Ariana has unfollowed The Weeknd since his album came out, okay? So basically, you know, I try to tell The Weeknd, do not mess with Ariana Grande. You did not have to spill the beans that you used to mess with Ariana, okay? You could have talked about something else because Ariana allegedly does spells. And she will say, abracadabra. Make those sales disappear. I noticed after she went at 6 9 on social media, he started flopping. Where is 6 9s career? You did that record talking about Ariana and look at your sales. Okay. Now, the album wasn't that great. I will admit that. But Gunna's was no better. The record with Chloe was not that great either. They basically took somebody else's song and was re-singing it, okay? Um, Gunna, to me, is okay. I don't think he really stands out. I think that people like him because he hangs out with Young Thug and Future, okay? But as for The weekend, he's very respected within the industry. But you cannot come at Ariana. It's not going to be good for you. And I tried to tell him, but he did not want to listen, Okay, um, I suggest that the weekend apologize to Ariana behind the scenes. Okay, make good with Ariana because she is the favorite in the industry, and when she gets to doing them spells, you never know what could happen allegedly. But people that come up against Ariana usually their careers end as six nine as Victoria Justice. Moving on to Megan Thee Stallion. Now, a few people were asking me if um, I believe Rock Nation will distance themselves from Megan Thee Stallion if Tory Lanez is proven innocent. Okay? Now, for me, I feel like Rock Nation is going to milk um, Megan Thee Stallion until the wheels fall off. Okay? And if they don't find another cash cow... They are going to ride this thing out with Megan Thee Stallion. At least until they find somebody else they can really make money off of. Because you guys got to remember, nobody else on Rock Nation is really that popping. Meek Mill is not that popping. Where's Tanaje? Um, Normani is quiet right now. Um, you know, there's not really an artist making as much noise as Megan Thee Stallion. Okay, and she's not even doing that great musically, but she's getting all the deals. Nobody else is really getting the brand deals on Rock Nation. But if Rihanna comes back out and, you know, that's going to be a hit for Rock Nation, um, then they'll probably push Megan to the side unless they get some more new artists that are popping on their management or label. Okay, so right now, Megan is, you know, their number one artist. So to let go of her would kind of hurt Rock Nation right now. Okay, uh, but I do feel like eventually Rock Nation and Megan Thee Stallion will split up. 
but I don't think it's going to be right away. Usually, um, an artist decides to let go of their management team. Um, unless you get like blacklisted, like Nene leaks, that's when they will let you go. We just going to have to wait and see. Let me know what you guys think about Rock Nation and Megan Thee Stallion. Moving on to Little Baby and Jada Wada. It looks like um, Valentine's Day came early for Jada because she posted these pictures of roses all over the room. Okay, and a lot of people on social media are still clowning Sweetie. Because if you guys remember, Little Baby and Sweetie had a thing. But then he went crawling back to Jada after Sweetie posted that photo. Now, me personally, I don't feel like Sweetie is, you know, jealous because she got her 100K shopping spree and, you know, she'll find somebody else that wants to take her shopping and be her sugar daddy because at the end of the day, Sweetie's a pretty girl. So she has no trouble pulling men. I think she will have trouble keeping men in a relationship, okay, because... You know, Sweetie is a pretty girl, like I said before, but these men don't care about that. That doesn't mean that they will wife you or you're going to be, you know, their girlfriend automatically. And even Quavo, he, you know, wifed Sweetie, but he was cheating on her. So, you know, the grass is not always greener on the other side, okay? Now, I feel like Sweetie got with little baby to be somewhat petty, but it did not work in her favor. But let me know what you guys think. Do you feel like Jada and Little Baby will last? I feel like he's going to continue to do dirt um, as long as he knows that Jada Wada will be coming back to him. And as long as she's not smashing any other men in the industry, he's going to be content. I feel like he's going to continue to cheat on her. You know, sweetie might have dodged a bullet. But, you know, a lot of these men in the industry, especially these rappers, they're going to cheat regardless. Um, as for Sweetie, I think she should just focus on her career and put out an album, focus on that, focus on getting a hit single, okay? And leave these men alone, okay? This was a learning lesson. Sometimes getting revenge is not the best thing, okay? Because I don't feel like she got with little baby just off of just really liking him. I feel like because he had a bag and he was beefing with Quavo and, you know, he snatched off Seth's chain, I feel like she thought maybe, you know, he could be the one, okay, for now. Not maybe for a long time, but at least for now, this could be somebody she can date or whatnot. But that backfired. Anyway, like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. Have an amazing day. And I will see you in the next video.